Today we cook for Max. We're making his childhood favorite chicken sandwich of all time. The Burger King original chicken sandwich. And so we could check what we're dealing with, because I don't think I've had one. We ordered one. We ordered two. Oh, we ordered two. Great. Chicken sandwich. What do you think these numbers mean? I don't know. What would that be there? All right. That's it. It's not terrible. No, it's not terrible. I think we can. The question has been. Ugh. What? That's like green, what gray the lettuce, fuck gray is and that? brown lettuce. Ugh. <laughs> Should we show the picture? Here's what we're supposed to have. Does it look like we got that? Doesn't. Does the lettuce is exactly the same, isn't it? There's like a little bit of mayo. Somebody put that together with a lot of care. <laughs> there's a little bit of mayo. There's a wilty bucket of lettuce. Oh, and there's, oh, what is that? Is that fat or is that like a smudge of mayo? I don't know, it's not good though. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with. Question is, is it is it a breast or is it formed? Oh no, it's absolutely formed. Formed for sure. <laughs> That is not breast meat. And that's what we were wondering. So now we know. Uh, I should have a little bite. First impressions? I don't know. I'm not surprised I haven't had this thing. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not eating that fucking lettuce. Uh, look at it. It's like foot lettuce. <laughs> what is that? Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> Did you just make that up? <laughs> no, that's a, an old, old joke. Chance. <laughs> it is foot lettuce. Burger King, why using foot lettuce? All right, so here's the plan. As I looked at pictures of it, I suspected it was not just a pounded thin breast. And it's not, it's formed. So we're gonna form our own, but hopefully it'll be better. I think this should be pretty easy to make. Think, the operative word is think. We're gonna start by grinding our own chicken. Yep. We all know Max is a fan of the chicken breast, so I am using chicken breast in this, but I'm also using some chicken thigh for me because, well, I'm making it. And I think the combo will be better. Somebody say contact. Contact. <laughs> And here we go. Chicken breast first. Followed by the thigh. Fabulous. All right. Next step. So to this ground chicken, we need a couple things. First, we have to season. So let's go salt and pepper, like that. We're gonna give it a little onion powder. None of this is in the Burger King version because it was really bland. A little smoked paprika, I'm a fan. And now to keep this together because chicken doesn't really hold together anywhere like beef, I'm gonna give it a couple tablespoons of cornflake crumbs. And this we're gonna mix. You know what's gonna happen here next, Max, don't you? You're gonna use your hands. I'm gonna use my hands. It's the only way. Sorry. So, you've got this one. Now you can see it's starting to hold together. You really needed that little bit of cornflake in there to, to make this work. So, cut this in half. You got two balls. They're about four and a half ounces each. And now, we form. So take a little piece of parchment. One and two. And now we've gotta get them into this shape. And the easiest way to do that is to use a bun for length and width. So, if this is our guide, this way, I'm just gonna do this. And by the way, if you had little kids, don't give them this job. You always hear people, it's a great job for your little kids, get your kids involved. No, little kids don't, don't need raw chicken on their hands, because you know where it's gonna end up. On the couch, on the coffee table, on the side of your face, everywhere. So this now needs to be sort of this torpedo tube shape, fairly thin, rounded at the ends. And I'm, I'm doing okay here, actually. Maybe a little narrower. How's that? Nice. Right, about the same size that way. Okay, now I'll do this one. Mostly keeping one hand nice and neat. All right, beautiful. Okay, these guys are now going on a plate. And this is going in my freezer for about, uh, oh, 15 minutes. Let's make some garlic aioli, shall we? Because I think that's just mayo. Whatever this little blip of stuff is, with clearly, the foot lettuce. with the foot lettuce, is, is clearly just mayo. But we can add flavor. You know, here's the thing that kills me. Once you have a sauce, 
it's easy to put on stuff. Why do they put on boring stuff? So this is a quick little cheater version of this. We'll add some garlic now because I really don't have, I don't have lemon juice. I don't want to put parsley in because that would be changing the look of it. So instead of the lemon juice, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of rice vinegar. Just I want a little tang to this. Just a few drops. The garlic, little salt and pepper, and we mix. And now the longer this sits, the better it becomes. So I'll make this the day before. Keep it and put this shit on everything. Now let's discuss the bun. Here's their bun. Lovely little sesame seed top. This little sort of split-ish thing. Ugh. It's just gross looking at that stuff. And here's my bun. I could not find this bun. So I'm going to make my own. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take just a little melted butter. Brush this kid. Like this. Down the middle. Of course, down the sides. And then... And we take some sesame seeds and we go like this. Of course, you're going to lose some in the process, or the process as we say in Canada. A little push down. Give a few extra because you're going to lose a few on the way. And this kid is now going to go into a 300 degree oven for about uh, five, six, seven minutes to help these kids stick. It's going to get griddled after but for now, into the oven. Right, so I think you'd recognize this as your regulation head lettuce. Just trying to open this up properly. As opposed to foot lettuce? As opposed to, that's funny. As opposed to foot lettuce. Now the hard part's gonna be trying to get this high quality stuff that uh, Burger King seems to be using here. My gosh. If I was a store manager and I saw that being used, I would be insane. So this is about as weepy as it gets. Even the worst of the lettuce on this thing is better than what they put on that. Am I right? Yes. So now I want it green. Just gonna, just gonna be anal. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna come down a couple layers. See, brown, brown. Find something good in here. There, now we're talking. Everybody, just go away from me. Get rid of all this shite lettuce. And now we got some beautiful lettuce here, right? You hear this? Yeah. You know what that is? That's fresh lettuce. That's what it sounds like. That's why you use iceberg lettuce. It's got that crunch to it. And if you're going to use it, use it with the crunch as opposed to the wilt that that thing seems to be. One of the things that I love from my childhood that I don't eat now because it just tends to be filled with crap is cereal. But that's all changed with Magic Spoon. I want you to think of it as cereal reinvented. Kid cereal, but made for adults and made much, much better. And by much, much better, I mean, oh, for example, 13 to 14 grams of protein in a serving as opposed to like three. Four grams of net carbs in each serving, and that's fantastic. And wait for it, keto-friendly, non-GMO, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, and nothing artificial. And I think one of my favorite parts is they have a variety pack with all four flavors, yes, that you're gonna love. There's peanut butter, there's fruity, and you know what those are gonna remind you of. There's frosted, you know what those will remind you of, and there's cocoa, and of course you know what those will remind you of. And they're not just making a better cereal, they're making a cereal that's better for you without any of the junk, and they're so confident of that that they're willing to give you a 100% money back guarantee for any reason that you don't like it. No questions asked. You gotta love people that stand behind their product like that. Am I right? Boys. Right. right. So what do you do? Use my code below, STCG, get five bucks off your order. By the way, fruity, it's my favorite. All right, so the, uh, the bun is just gonna come out of the oven. <laughs> it's funny, we got a bun in the oven. Uh, getting the seeds to stick. I've got oil here beside me. We're gonna shallow fry the, uh, the chicken form, the, what, the form chicken patty, patty things, yes. We've got our lettuce cut, we've got a little garlic aioli. We're not adding cheese, can't do anything fancy. We wanna stay fairly true to this while building some bigger flavors than we're on that one. So, uh, we're ready to go, but we got an email the other day from Alan uh, Ferraro Jr., who's in the U.S. Army Reserve in Afghanistan. And he said, just wanna tell you how much watching your guys' YouTube channel means to us over here. 
it's a little piece of home and normalcy for us. And he wrote a bunch of other stuff. We wrote back and said, thank you. That means a lot, uh, especially you thanking us for what we're doing. Um, and we'd love to do a little shout out, but it'd be better if we had a picture or two. So Alan Ferraro Jr. sent a, uh, a couple pictures that Max will put up while I read just one paragraph of his email because it is a really good one paragraph. We have some music we can... Uh... Attached are the requested photos, sir. I'm sir. I'm a US soldier deployed with the British Army, which has been a unique experience to work so closely with our close friends and allies. While I greatly appreciate the shout out on the show, I'm merely a small piece of the team out here that works to ensure Afghanistan never again becomes a safe haven for terrorists, also to ensure that the United States is never attacked again. The ones that don't come back, they're the heroes. I mean, come on. I say all the time, there's people out in the world doing amazing things. And we show people how to put the things like Captain Crunch on the outside of tuna and searing it. It's very good, by the way. These are the people that are making a difference. Alan Ferraro Jr., all the other uh, people that are in the, the photo with him and the heroes he talked about. That's, that's the magic part of all this. We're just little nothings here, right? Thank you, Alan. Thanks, Thank Alan. you, Alan. And I always want to salute at a moment like this, but I know it's the wrong thing to do because I'm not in the military, so so I won't. All right. Wait, can we take a second to acknowledge that his name is Alan? Oh, because <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Alan, perhaps you know or don't know, but when we make fun of somebody, we use the name Alan. I don't know why. I think Max started it. All right, now on to the cooking part of our, what is it? The original chicken sandwich. The from OG. The OG from Burger King. So we get the system, right? We go flour first. Then we go egg, and then we go our crumb, which in this case is the cornflake crumb. Because it looks like what's on the outside of the thing, sort of. So now here are our guys, firm-ish, come right out of the freezer. They start warming up quickly, so you're not going to want to waste any time here. Knock off the excess, make sure everybody's got some, straight into the egg. We're being gentle, we're being careful. We want egg on top of this or the crumbs won't stick. It's warming up as we speak. I wonder how they do it. That's okay, I think we're gonna be all right here, guys. I don't want anybody to freak out, Max. I'm not freaking out. I'm taking care, taking great concern with your childhood memory here. I don't wanna F it up. And when you got this all coated beautifully, let's put him on a plate like this and do the other one fast, fast, man, fast. Edges, uh-oh, I could lose it. You can see it's starting to get super pliable, right? I've got to be very careful, very careful. Uh-oh, I got to run over the edge. Damn. I think... It I just need bigger stuff. Giant bowls and I gotta figure this out. Okay, I'm ready here. That guy's ready there. It's time to go to the Evo, the oil and cook. So we're good. So we'll go one at a time into our 350 oil. Perfect. We're not gonna be in here too long. Everybody snuggle in. I'm guessing like three-ish minutes aside. It's not gonna take a long time to cook all the way through. We want it golden, we want it crispy, we want it beautiful. And while we're doing that, we'll just put our now seated buns on for just a quick toast. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna be very happy with this, Max. Who wouldn't? I don't know. Someone that hates chicken. Should we just have a little peek? Yeah. I can feel. Oh yeah. Nice. Ugh, I saw I pull into my spot the other day Obviously, I hadn't shut it down completely yet. And I go to uh, put on my flip-flop or so, I can't shut remember. Shut your car off? You haven't like parked it? No, I've, I've pushed the brake down, but I haven't like done the other thing. What other thing? The, the thing that makes it go. Oh, park. Zzz. Going to park. Yeah, I just stopped it, you know, yeah, the you brake all the way down. Park, yeah. Right, and then I was doing my foot thing and I accidentally hit the accelerator. Shut up. Yeah, just lightly though. Tap the wall. I was so mad I got out. I was fine. Nothing. You couldn't see nothing. And we flip gently. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
Mamma mia. Hey, BK, check out what we're doing. No foot lettuce for us. Wow. Okay, this is a fucking chicken sandwich, man. That's lovely. You know what this reminds me of? What? Teesside Parmo. Yeah, it kind of is like that. Yeah. I think these guys are ready, boys. We take them out and we build. And here's how this goes down. Bottom bun. We're being very careful here. You notice, Max? Because, well, we want this to be delicious for you. It's gonna be just like you remembered, except not shitty. And now, our garlic aioli, which is not garlic aioli to them, but it is to us. Now, the important part, our guy. And he looks like this, and down. Good? Now the lettuce. You know what's throwing me off? How fresh this is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, in fairness, I think if you take a hot chicken patty and put a bunch of lettuce on it and put a bun on it and then close it up, I think you're going to find the lettuce is going to wilt. Hey, Deb, can we get you out here to stomp on our lettuce a little bit? <laughs> Whether it ends up looking like this gross gray foot lettuce, I don't know, but... And then the top. Also play some dramatic music if you want you? to. All right, before I take a bite, I give you specimen A or specimen B. There you go. You choose. That thing's a piece of shite. Hey, easy now. Easy now. This has been sitting around a while. This was just made. But don't forget, we had to uh, sesame seed our own bun. And by the way, we've used toasted sesame seeds versus blonde ones. Flavor, not flavor. Basic mayo, garlic aioli, foot lettuce, fresh lettuce. And now we cut and we eat. Look how pretty that is, huh? Do you see how juicy that is? Can you see that? Stop, get out of their lettuce. I squeeze and look. Do you see that? Come on now. Okay, mine's fresh, theirs is not, but still. And don't forget, uh, if you like the channel, uh, show us a little love like we show you love. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave us a comment. Say something nice. Or not, I suppose that's an option. We read them. I try to read them and then I get pissed off, but never mind. Crispy, tender. The garlic aioli is a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. A straight game changer. You gotta do it. Don't go buy one of these. Make one of these. I'm sorry, Burger King, I had to say that. It's not a big deal. Chancey said, oh, they gotta step up their game. He had a bite of the chicken with some of the garlic aioli. Ooh. Step up your game, right? Step it up. Step it up. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging. We'll see ya. Damn.